The executive chef at the Sonesta Beach Resort, Key Biscayne, was at taping time Tom Parlo. A New Jersey native, he was named one of the great hotel chefs in 1991 by the James Beard Foundation. His starter is scallop sea urchins stuffed with caviar and served with sunflower sprout and seaweed salad. It's very important that the scallops that you use for this dish are what we call in the industry dry scallops. That means that they have no chemicals, chemicals added to them which uh, makes them retain water because if you have excess water in this, this dish will not be successful. So first we want to grind the scallops. I, I put a, a bowl, the bowl on top of a bowl of ice because you wanted to keep the product as cold as possible, which will also help uh, keep all the liquids in the uh, scallops. Carrot and zucchini brunoise is added. For the scallops, we're going to add some uh, brunoise of carrots and zucchini and some cut chives. I have a nice simple technique for for getting a very fine brunoise of the carrots and zucchini is I use a very sharp Japanese mandolin. We line everything up together. After the vegetables are cut, I shock them in boiling hot water for 30 seconds, then I refresh them in cold water. So to the, to the scallop mix, we're going to add some the blanched and shocked and dried zucchini and carrots. Some chives. You don't want to add salt at, the, at this stage because this will cause the, uh, the liquids to bleed from the scallops. We will add some salt at the end of the, after the scallop sea urchin is fried. Also the caviar it has a little amount of salt in there so that, that works out great with the, with the scallop. Okay, once you have your mixture there, you don't want to Mix it too much. I have a Japanese soma noodle. It's a very fine white flour noodle. We will break those into one inch pieces. And, that what, and that's what gives it the appearance of a sea urchin. Okay. Once you have the scallop mixture ready, you wet your hand a little bit, depending, and you put a scoop of the scallop mix in your hand. You flatten it out, making a little indentation in the center. And the object is you want the caviar to be in the center of the sea urchin, and it's going to be surrounded by the scallop mixture, which is going to be cooked. You add a little on top. And just pinch the pinch the ends. Put a little touch more cavity. Scallop up there. And once the once the caviar is in the center of the scallop, shape it nicely and roll it into the broken soma noodles. Press the noodles a little bit so that they're anchored very good into the scallops. And hold that until you make your salad and your vinaigrette for your service.
The salad of this dish is a sunflower sprout and a wakame seaweed salad. And you're gonna mix some sunflower sprouts along with a very fine julienne of daikon radish, carrot, beets, and a spoonful of the Japanese seaweed salad. And then some sunflower seeds. The vinaigrette for the salad is a carrot and curry emulsion. I've made some fresh carrot juice. And to that, what's going to help emulsify the, the sauce is some carrot puree, which I took fresh carrots and they were cooked in carrot juice till they're very soft and pureed in the blender. And a spoon of curry powder. Then fresh minced ginger. And rice wine vinegar. We want to cover it. And and blend until the ingredients are, are combined. Then we're going to add sesame oil and canola oil. want to taste it and if it needs if you feel it needs it you can add some sea salt and blend again okay to cook the scallop I have uh, heated some canola oil to 325 degrees And you remember that you have the caviar in the center, so you don't need to cook the scallop completely through. What you're going to do is cook the, the, the layer of the scallops and the noodles, and then you're going to have the uh, caviar, which is uh, still uh, hasn't been cooked. And when you bite into that, the caviar is going to flow out. After the noodles are golden brown, you remove it and put it on a uh, plate with a towel to absorb any excess oil. And I season it very lightly with sea salt. I'm using a uh, large scallop shell. And I, I coated the rim of the scallop shell with uh, lobster roe, uh, black sesame seeds, and a little bit of chopped dill. And we want to make a nice little nest for the urchin to sit in with the, with the, with the sunflower and water, what, seaweed salad. We're going to place this, the sea urchin right in top. We're going to spoon the cur the carrot and the curry emulsion around on the salad.